You might be thinking that this is another video for the development of the Supernatural Olympics. Well, it's not. It's for my current project, the Platform Masters. It based, it's basically based off of George Game 13, except it's 2D. 2D. It uses the methods used for the Supernatural Olympics. But you might be thinking about Alpha Blend and the lack of anything fast. Well. This game is focused entirely on simplicity, not graphics. It's also focused heavily on gameplay, much more than TSO. And I mean a lot more. Instead of grades B- minus for graphics, I'm focusing on C- minus as a minimum accepted. So, yeah, it gets pretty low. C- minus especially for the character, C- plus for otherwise. This is my to-do list. Five stars means it's been completely finished. Redos might be done, though, but... Zero stars means that it hasn't been done yet at all. No progress has been made in any form. And some of these are kind of on the complete side, but kind of not. But this is what all my various items are. Secret. Hmm, for those, that's what this design document is for, but I ain't gonna show you that because those details are classified. Sorry, but this is what the game looks like. Sure looks awfully simple, doesn't it? Well, it's early in development, and you might notice these clouds up here too. Those were part of my vision. Up here is 128, that's the scaling. 128 it might be wondering. Well, these platforms here are 32 by 32. 128 is basically four of those, so it's from this red platform here to the edge of this one here. This very dark gray one. Platforms. Yes. Lots and lots of colors. These are all the possibilities. I can't do the full 16777216 color palette. 24-bit color, but because otherwise you'll be looking at memory use that's beyond what today's systems can take, and that's not my intent. But in every level, you need to get to this goal platform. Just simply land on it, and you complete the level, getting points for based on how much time you got remaining and the such. But this sure looks like an odd level, wouldn't you think? It's nothing but platforms with gaps. Kind of odd, huh? So, but a jump like this should be doable, but I really don't know for sure right now. I'd have to test that. And you might have noticed that these clouds have moved quite a bit, too. Well, let's go look at them. Going up? Up's a good direction. You get better views. You might notice the rich, intricate detail they've got here, too. And you might have noticed this cloud deck up here, too. That's a 16 scale. 16, remember those squares on those platforms? That's 16 by 16. And you might have noticed that it's fogging out here. Then all of a sudden, it went away. That's because I don't have anything beyond 49,152. In case you're wondering on me. It's just one of the special effects. So, let's go look at these clouds now. It takes a lot of speed. Here, I'll make this more readable. This here is my favorite part. I was inspired by Jumping Flash 2 and getting super high and watching those clouds while looking straight across. That's what inspired me to make these clouds. And yes, they really do move as if they were 3D. Notice how the how that cloud directly below the arrow moves? Yep. And notice how they keep repeating and repeating. Well, they just repeat forever. And levels are far from that kind of size. Most of them are pretty small, like 4096 by 4096 or whatever. And you might have noticed this bug here. Well, it's one of the things to do. It's number 13 on that list. I'm just showing you what a, the clouds look like from far beneath. 
We sure are slow moving. But this is based on maximum distance. I'm limiting... This is also the high quality version too, by the way. I'm limiting memory in the high quality version to uh, 64 megabytes. And there's a low quality version. Yes, low quality version. You might be wondering on that. Well, I got a problem with Malik. Malik, you might be wondering? Well, anyway, low quality version is limited to 32 megabytes. It'll be a separate executable, but provided in the same package. It'll just use lower quality versions of these. Malik, you might be wondering? Well, I'll show you. Normally, to use Malik, you do this. Unsigned char star image data. The star represents a pointer. Char is an 8-bit variable, unsigned because it's on always positive, not positive and negative together. So, image data. We'll just call it that. Okay. To use malloc, you basically do this. Image data equals malloc. And then you choose the amount of memory you want to allocate. For unsigned chars, that's not a problem. If you're using ints or some other variable type, you use size of int or the related. But in that case, I don't need that. The problem I'm having with malloc is in the function that I use to load image files with, which is where malloc is really needed, I call it load image file. There's a bunch of parameters such as strings for input and other variables used to process things, but those are irrelevant. Star data, the stars for a pointer, more parameters. Gotta love flags. And within the function, I have image loading stuff. Okay. Then after loading the image, there's this bi size image attribute of the uh, bitmap info header structure from Windows. But the problem I'm having is with malloc. Data equals malloc. Then I pick the number. In this case, it would be the name of the struct, but it's, I'll you be using a variable instead of this. Okay, and then later on, in the to call the function, I just do this: load image file dots. Then I put in the one I want, which in this case is and because I want the address of it and data dots and that's how I'd call the function with for the keeping the same order anyway the semicolon goes at the end that's language of C but because I can't get mallet to work I need to use direct assignment which is done something like this The brackets indicate an array, in case you're wondering. Those are used for arrays. But basically, this is what I need to do. But there's a problem with this method. It results in wasted memory. However, on today's systems, that's not much of a problem. I'm limiting things to 64 megs in the high-quality edition and 32 megs in the low-quality version. The low-quality ones for lower-end systems from, like, 2000. Budget systems from 2000. That kind of old. Or at least that's what I'm planning on. Keep the draw count low. The low quality version may even have the clouds disabled too. But anyway, this game and this video were created by Ola Lilia. Thank you for watching.